This is Pillar. It's Lyft's new bike docking station. They'll be popping up in cities across the country over the next year. We really, from a design perspective, tried to create something that would feel both timeless and iconic. Very similar to a fire hydrant or a parking meter. Each pillar is independently powered and connected. Eventually, the docks will charge a new generation of micromobility machines. But it's not just for bikes. Lyft is introducing a new line of scooters that can also dock at pillars, as well as existing stations. The pillar dock is designed so that it's very sustainable, long life. Pillars can be lined up like traditional docking stations or set individually on corners, giving riders more places to pick up and drop off. Each pillar is designed to go for months without service. Designers and engineers work to make the docks efficient, right down to the analog display. This is our flip dot display. So we've got three dots, so we can display a few different states here. And these are kind of cool because they don't draw any power except when we flip them. So 99% of the time, it's a zero power draw display. Eventually, some docks will be connected to the electric grid. So the locking mechanism was redesigned as well. The reason we did that was so that we could integrate in charging contacts that can charge the vehicles through the dock. That new charging ability will help reduce trips made to swap batteries, with the goal of making the whole system greener. Once you have about 20% of your stations being grid-connected charging stations, that dramatically reduces the number of vehicles that we need to charge manually. They can all charge just when they dock. And that will also mean that more e-bikes and scooters will be charged and ready to whisk riders to their destinations. Thank you.